she can get to it that way. Okay. Now, at this little stage, and with a clicker savvy dog, this isn't going to take a whole lot of your time, but you can also even do stuff. Sit. Okay. Yes. You can even kind of proof a little bit of your wait for release here. You know, she's in position. She's staying in position. Excellent. Okay, you get it. Good dog. What a good square dog. And so that, you know, may take me a session or two to get that. I'm going to break it up with play because right now she's being very careful and might have a little bit more drive. Um, but then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it over to this box, and I've already taught the dog to just be on this box. And you can do this completely separate. Just you get on the box. Okay. And you get off the box. Um, and we reward up here, we tug, we say it's a great place to be, yay. Now she is, in theory, going to stay here until I present the thing. And I'm going to use a little bit of restraint to get her a little jazzed up. I'm going to wait until she's looking at the target. Target, yes, good girl. So she overshot a little bit, but you can see she didn't move her feet at all. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty happy about that part. Okay. And then I just take the target up again. What advantages does this give me? A lot of times if you're kind of free shaping it and you move away from them, they'll come off the side toward you. But if I'm using a target, and if I, yeah, good girl. Good job, ready, get back. Oh, now I'm gonna help her a little bit. I'm gonna tell her to wait. Because now what can happen, wait. I can get myself out of the picture. I can wait until I have a dog that's focused forward. <laughs> look, look. Target. Yes, good girl. Very good. Now I'm not going to release her until she's looking ahead. <gasps> we have some seriously <laughs> Well, there were some things about that that were very nice. Um, I was very happy with the way that she focused forward on my cue to look ahead. Yeah. Um, I was very happy with the fact that she drove ahead with me way far behind her like that. Mm -hmm. I always, note how I always start her pretty close. I want her to just pounce into position. I'm not having, I don't want to practice her trotting across the board. I'm going to build speed into this later with back chaining. Wait. Good girl. Always wait until they focus forward. Look. Look. Target. Yes. Good job. What a good dog you are. You're very good. You're very good. Oh, we get it. Nice job. Now, once I have that pretty well solidified, I'm starting to introduce my behavior, my word for the behavior. As she's um, about to do it, now I'm going to see if with the target out of the picture, target, yes, good girl, can I still get that behavior? If you're using targets, you want to get them out of the picture early and often. Okay. You get a couple repetitions where they're right with the target, take the target away and see if you still get the same before you put it back in. Now, would you um, call it target right away? As soon as she's offering, you know, as soon as I see that she's consistently offering to drive ahead to it, then that's when I start calling it target. Um, because you kind of need it named before you can fade it, right? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Once 